Hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. This week you join me out on the bank and we're in search of chub on the stick flow and centre pin. So it's only a super short session today, probably two, three hours max. I'm just hoping to get a bend in the rod and maybe a chub or two. So despite it only being a few hours, I have got a double mindset today. I've set up in a swim where I have had a few chub in the past with the hope that we can just spend a few hours in this swim. But I have got the mindset also, if it doesn't work out, that I'm just going to rove around a few swims and see if we can pick up a chub or two. This swim now is a bit more overgrown than last year. So with that in mind, I've gone with my Corum Glide Rod, but I have got it in the 12 foot version with the 14 foot section here that would make it 14, take it out. So I've got my 12 foot glide, just so I've got a better chance of landing the fish. I don't need that extra length on this small river and it just helps me to, you know, get that rod in the air in the tight swims and just flick a bait out and trot down without worrying about hitting the branches and stuff like that. So to you guys who've been asking for a while, there we go. We're out with the centre pin today. I have had it for years. My missus bought it me many years ago. It's an Akuma Sheffield reel. Not a reel I use very often. I do enjoy using it for the carp on the commercials, you know, fishing close in underneath a pole float. But for river fishing, it's not something that I would use that often. I had a clear out of my fishing gear today, noticed it, and I thought, you know what, let's get out and give it a go. Got that down to a six, number four stick float, a bulk shot of Dinsmore number four weight, a two pound one ounce hook link from Bay of Pearl on, a single number eight shot, and a tiny size 18 Camazan animal hook. So let's waste no time and let's make a start. I'm just going to drop a bait drop of the maggots just on the line. The swim is very overgrown so getting them out isn't going to be easy and there is deceivingly quite a bit more pace than it looks on the river. I'm hoping to get these chub on this inside line here. I have fed some as you've seen via the bait dropper we just seen that kingfisher go past then <laughs> he's most certainly out and about that's more the line that I want to go down striking is going to be interesting as well with the tree so close to our left and it is quite a responsive river by that I mean if they're there you normally you know, know they're there and get one quite early. So I'm not going to spend too much time in in this swim. That's why I've not put the keep net in yet. Because I just want to make sure that if I'm on them, then we're on them and there's the first one of the day. So as you can see there, it's taken about three or four casts. On this river, you, you know about it. And even though I'd only had, what, four or five casts, I was already thinking about possibly moving because you can see there, when they're about, you know about it. You don't need big hooks when you're fishing maggots for chub. The most important bit you need is a strong one. And you'll find confidence in your own brand. Mine, cameras and animals, always for chub fishing. And as you can see, once it goes in them rubbery lips, it very rarely comes out or bends. So there we go, the first chub of the day. And didn't take too long, did it? When they're there, they let you know. And hopefully, this isn't the only one that's down there. Until about midday. So, let's see how many we can get. I'm going to pop the keep net in. We'll put him in that. And we'll see if any of his brothers are down there. So the use of keep nets does divide opinion. For me, the general use of them goes back to being a child. I've used them since a kid. And part of the enjoyment for me, when I'm dace fishing or silver fishing, is seeing that net at the end but when it comes to chub and small rivers i always use one 
in my opinion there's two ways to go about fishing these rivers you either try and catch one from every swim maybe one or two and let them go straight away or you use a keep net and try and catch as many as you can from one swim I've seen so many examples on the River Dane where using a keep net in a swim where people have gone from swim to swim and caught one I've set up in one swim and had a very good day's fishing and if you don't put them back you never know them fish could stay there you can see how clear it is you let that chub go he's going to go straight over there and it's just like losing one in my opinion the plan to stay in this swim hasn't worked you can see he's just shot off so packing the gear away we'll put the landing net and the keep net away and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to have a wander down the river So just in the second swim of the day and hooked into the first fish which I don't think is a chub I've got a funny feeling it's Mr Trout <laughs> just by the jagging on the rod tip lovely spot we'll get him in and we'll take a look at him so the second swim of the day and the second fish didn't take too long after that move so just in the third swim of the day and moved upstream a bit it's taken a couple of casts but we've got into Mr Chubb just got to take a time and get him in hasn't been the easiest today but a couple of bites and a bend in the rod is what it's all about and then white lips of a chub and that tiny, tiny size 18 hook and there we go, that's what we come for, a bend in the rod and a December chevin. Lovely playing on that centre pin. So we've probably got an hour of the session left. We'll pop him in the keep net just to see if there's any more in the swim. So the next trot down just bent defiantly into another chub. He just sat down there defiantly not moving. just shows year on year them chub move about they're never in the same spot each year the floods are different this year they're in a completely different area of the river than previous years got about half an hour of the session left with great fun so we're into the last half hour of the session and the next shot down I've literally just lost one which can be a disaster like I've said before but hopefully you know we've had a few bites there's obviously one or two chub down there we can just tempt one more before we call it a day and on the very last cast of the day it literally was last cast saloon the float is buried and we've got the almost certainly a chub there must have been a bit of water gone in upstream because you can see there's about the third log that's come down but I'm just going to concentrate on getting this one in so the final chub of the session coming on the last cast well maybe it was the third or fourth last cast after all you can't just have one can you the missus have been on the phone three or four times so this most certainly is the last fish of the session I'll pop a picture on screen now of the final net from this swim but we've had three chub, we had one chub from the other swim an enjoyable morning on the bank